chapter 12 led us to a little adventure that Kira and Momi went on. So we got to experience a little bit more what it was like to live with the tree folk and um, Kira's description of what life is like there as being a little creepy. Um, when I first read this, I thought it would be really, really hard to live here um, where nobody really spoke to each other. Uh, they just kind of watched each other, and the way she described it, it wasn't anything um, mean or harmful. She didn't feel threatened by them, but it was just kind of creepy how people would pass each other, and you wouldn't even really know it sometimes, or how um, suddenly you'd look up as you were moving through the trees, and someone would be right next to you just kind of staring at you, so that definitely gave me the creeps a little bit. Um when her and Mummy went to this lake area, um, she described a scene where it was just small families um, sticking with each other and not really interacting with anyone else around. So it was kind of weird because it made me think a little bit about the situation that we're all in right now. And when you do go out, um, at least I know when I walk around my neighborhood, which is really the only place I've been, um, you see small families together, but nobody's really interacting with each other. And that um, kind of describes the way their life is right now with the tree folk. Um, so again, definitely not how she is used to living. And apparently Momi uh, isn't used to living like that either because he thinks it's unusual as well. Um, and they talked about how uh, it feels normal for them to live within a community and share and help each other and do things for each other, which is very much like a community that we're used to in real life. Um, but that's not how the tree folk are, and they have a really hard time with that. Um, that combined with the fact that Kira doesn't ever talk about her past and tries to forget it and tries to ignore everything that happened to her in the past, um, kind of sets her up for being really sad and feeling sad on the inside. And so with that, Momi wants to try and help her, and she's still very resistant to it. Um, and once she realizes that he's trying to get information out of her, she gets really angry um, and feels like she just wants to leave and walk away, leave the situation, which she does. Um, so again, we're seeing her shut down and not share with anybody what happened with the volcano, um, and her whole community. So, um, I'm kind of interested to see what Momi's going to think of if she ever shares that with him. Um, and not only that, but I'm interested to hear where Momi comes from and what kind of community he left and why he left that community.